everybody, it's Julie Ebersole for Ellen Hudson and today's Hello Monday video features this really fun thanks card. And I stamped the word thanks multiple times in different colors and I also stamped it with an outline. And there's a really fun trick to using um, this outline and solid uh, set of alphabet letters. This is called Stepping Stone by Hero Arts and Studio Calico. And the first thing that I did was I lined up the solid letters onto an acrylic block that has a grid. And <laughs> if you know me at all, I have a hard time seeing things straight. I'm always seeing things crooked. So I need those grid lines to help me get things nice and straight. So I'm going to stamp that onto a piece of scratch paper. And then here's where the trick, this is kind of a slick trick, comes in handy. And I was so happy when I figured this out. I was like monkey clapping and bouncing off my chair. But... <laughs> I took the outline images and I lined those up directly over the top of the solid and then I grabbed my acrylic block and pressed it and I had all the letters lined up and I'm just going to test it really quick and I think I'm going to be off here. One of the letters was slightly off and I had to make a little bit of an adjustment and then I was good to go. But isn't that awesome? Then I don't have to stamp all the letters individually one at a time. It would take forever doing that. <laughs> this makes it really fast. So now I'm going to stamp this multiple times and I started at this point because I knew ahead of time I wanted to include some uh, visual images that were going to get uh, stamped onto the left. So I had to leave room so I kind of pre-planned that out in my sketch and then I'm just going to work my way staggering up and down the length of the card. So a little bit of pre-planning goes a long way to helping you get all those pieces and elements into place. So now I'm using some arrows, and these arrows are fun. Arrows are and chevrons and arrowheads and all that. Those are so hot this year, and I know you know that because you've probably seen them everywhere. But I, this is the first time I've really played with them. And this is from a set, these images are from a set called Oh Snap. And I was like, oh my gosh, what a great name for a stamp set. They had me at Oh Snap. <laughs> So it's got some really fun modern images like arrows and feathers and banners and hexagons. So it's really a fun, a fun set to work with. And just add little visual touches there to your designs that are kind of, you know, popular and on trend right now. So I'm going to ink up with a watermelon, or not watermelon, but with a mountain rose. And then when I'm done stamping with that color, I'm just going to clean the stamp. And now I'm going to switch to butter bar which is a really yummy and delicious color of ink, a nice warm yellow. And then I'm going to add some soft pool. Now, I really love this color combination. I have a lot of fun with it, and I'm kind of getting a fix because there was some washi tape that had this color combination, and it's all out of stock, and I'm kind of, you know, trying to get my fix because I really wanted that tape. <laughs> I'm hoping it comes back in stock soon. So... Now that I've got my colors in place, I needed one bit of extra pattern, and so I didn't have paper that matched, so I decided to make it myself, and I'm using this really great uh, border background set by Lawn Fawn, and it's called Interlocking Backdrops, and it has these really great patterns that you can use as a border, or you can uh, stamp them multiple times to create an entire background. And this is a fine tooth uh, chevron pattern. And I put my piercing pad underneath because every once in a while when I'm working with a really long or really large stamp, I'll get a little air pocket and I don't get uh, a complete impression onto my paper. So just a surface that has a little bit of cush, a little bit of give will help resolve that issue. So that works for me. So a lot of times, um, that's just a little trick I'll use when I test something out and notice I have some air pocket issues. <laughs> Maybe you don't have air pocket issues. I do. <laughs> so now I'm going to make a top folding card and just use my uh, Martha Stewart mini scoreboard. And I love using 8.5 by 11 card stock so that I can put my score line the direction that I want it on my card. So I wanted a top folding portrait or vertical style card. So now I'm going to 3D mount this to the card base, and I'm using the uh, 3D dots. I just love the added uh, finished look it gives when you mount a panel like this 3D fashion on the top. And this uh, white layer actually is the white linen cardstock, which is so yummy, and I want to use it on everything. And then I needed a piece that was mountain rose, but I didn't have any cardstock whatsoever that was in this color. So I took a piece of scrap and I just rubbed my ink pad over the top of it until I had it coated and colored the 
the hue that I needed and then I'm just going to speed set it really quick with my heat tool and then uh, I flattened it back out and then I'm just going to take my powder tool um, this is what I like to use to kind of prevent stray embossing powder from sticking from static electricity in spots I don't want it and I'll just stamp another image from that oh snap set this one has little tiny alphabet letters so I stamped it with Versamark and then I'm using Stampendous really fine detail white embossing powder. This is great for letters that are super, super tiny. And I'm just gonna heat emboss that really quickly. And then I'll just use a three quarter inch circle punch to punch that out. It just happened to fit it perfectly. And this is why I own circle punches in practically every size known to man. <laughs> Cause it's just too quick and easy. And then I'm just gonna mount this one too um, with a 3D dot on the top. And then the card is finished. Isn't that fun? It was so quick and easy, and you could seriously uh, pump out a whole ton of these thank you cards um, with the multiple colors. It looks like it took a lot of time, but it didn't. I think it's such a great look, and there you can see the detail of that image on that um, paper I made from scratch. Thanks for watching. <laughs>